Hey YouTube, I uh, just got my NYX boots in today. Uh, do a quick unboxing video, give you my thoughts and, and uh, you know, as I kind of break into boots, uh, I'll be coming back and giving updates. So I already um, uh, laced them up a little bit, but here's the uh, tongue stays for the QTs. And here they are. Awesome, awesome boots. These are the uh, four inch uh, Alder Striders. Uh, this is in uh, the work tan leather uh, and a tan um, Vibram sole. Wanted something uh, uh, a little bit more casual. Um, I uh, put some of these, uh, these are kind of more like copper laces on for now. I, I, I uh, once they kind of break in and, and patina, I, I probably will be switching these out, but these are the only ones uh, I had on hand. Um, that's first impressions. Uh, I watched their leather video of, of the different kinds of leather and, and, and what they patinaed, and this is, this was my topic. I, I tend to go with the more natural leather uh, and, and have it naturally patina. The second choice was the Predator Orange, which I think for this style of boot is, is their, their most popular configuration. And then because it's a uh, shorter boot height, you know, this, this top here is rolled. Uh, I did take my calipers to, to this piece here, uh, the, the, their tongue stay, and you know, it's solid, solid leather, right? It's three millimeters thick. Um, so I'll let you guys know of, of how the break-in process is and, and you know, um, what's a, 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 something that durable. I do, uh, I think it was Rose Anvil that uh, talked about using mink oil to, to help the break-in process. So I'm gonna show you guys that, like a one boot first of, of applying mink oil, what that does and, and, you know, to the other boot, but usually I do that to two. And then I do have a pair of, These are uh, White's, uh, their MP service boot. Uh, this is in um, natural Chrome XL. Uh, obviously these, these have been broken in and, and whatnot. Um, same, same treatment there, mink oil um, to, to, to help the break-in process. And not a full on um, you know, review of, of the White's, uh, but just a quick compare and contrast, right? I mean, I think a lot of people cross shop the two brands and, and, you know, what, what are my thoughts is, you know, my team white or, or team Nick. So stay tuned. Uh, uh let me, uh, get, get these oiled up and, and I'll be back. Thank you. All right. Uh, just did the, the right side here. Um, I'm obviously a little bit darker not, 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 not too, too bad. It also obviously lighten up. You can kind of see there, uh, kind of lightens up, but overall looks, looks good and then like i said it helped with the the break-in process i also should mention i uh, i took the measurements online um you know felt pretty good about a 10 um so if that's something you guys wanted to go and do and, and that's it but i did try do their try on boot process it, it took about three months or so for for the try on boots to come um and those were a size 10 and and you know walked around the house in them and, and they felt fine um so again, it's it was helpful for me to do the Triumph uh, boot process because these are the uh, the moderate last. Uh, I originally was was going to do the, their high arch last. Uh, I think it was the fifty five last. Uh, but in walking around, I was like, this this is not comfortable. So the Triumph boot process kind of killed two birds with one stone for me. One was confirming that that I was a size ten based on the measurements, uh, and you know, kind of get a, a feel for. You know, I would recommend doing the uh, higher arch one because if it feels good, you, you know that's the one you want. If it's too much arch support, then, then you know you can go down, right? So, so you're, you're not always in this what if uh, scenario, but, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, so that's quickly just, just how it looks. Like I said, even on the minute or so that we've been filming, it's uh, kind of lightened up and, and I'll go ahead and do the uh, other boot, um, lace them up and um, you know go from there. All right, there's a quick look of them on on my feet and jeans. They look pretty clean. You know, more more casual day to day. Um, 
you know, obviously I'll, I'll walk around with them later and, and over the next couple of weeks. Very typical, my, my left foot is a little bit smaller than my right, so the left foot feels, feels pretty good. <clears throat> a little bit of, of breaking in, more breaking in, I should say, needed on the, on the right side. One thing uh, I'll keep you guys updated, right, with a, with a shorter boot, right, my, my, it passes my ankle there, but like I said, with the rolled um, top here, it should help, but, you know, obviously right now the, the leather's still pretty stiff, so you can feel it pinch just a little bit, but, you know, like I said, over a full day in the next couple of weeks, I'll let you guys know if it becomes an issue or not, but otherwise, liking them, and then I'll check back in a couple of weeks. All right, I'm back. Uh, boots have been fully broken in. Um, it's been a few weeks now. I uh, got, a, got a little scuff mark there. I love the color. Um, it's patinaed quite nicely. Um, you know, casual enough to, to just wear with a t-shirt uh, and jeans, or if you wear one, to wear with a button-down shirt, um, but, but still casual, especially with a four inch height, right? I think it, it's that sweet spot of, you know, you, you're still wearing a boot, um, but it's, it's, you know, not as difficult to, to get on. Like these don't have the speed hooks, but at a four inch height, that they're still pretty easy to, to get on and off. I actually think they're um, faster to put on than um, my six inch uh, service boots. Um, this didn't really rub at all. Like I think it, it, it like I said, it has a little bit of, of give uh, on the ankles. I love this sole. It's, it's softer, it's quieter when you're walking on, on hardwood floors and gives you a little bit of a cushion. Um, I think, uh, you know, a lot of people tend to overlook the, the four inch uh, boot height. You know, they, they go for the six inch or, or the eight inch versions. But again, if you want something um, more casual, uh, I think this is the way to go. As promised, uh, I wanted to give a quick overview between the Knicks and the Whites. I know these are six inch, uh, you know, the MP service boots, you know, has, has a different outsole on it and everything, but just in terms of quality, right? Like, yes, these take, you know, I think they're up to 16 or 24 weeks or, or, or you know, four to six months or something like that. But absolutely the craftsmanship, the quality, the pride of ownership and on with Team Knicks. And, and I kind of show you a quick, reasoning for for why i feel not that the white boots are, are bad i you know I, I i still like them but when you're talking five six hundred dollars why i think the knicks are better so this is my left boot and let's see if you can get the camera to, to there you go so you see on that heel there it, you see that nail kind of sticking out right right dead center uh, i am going to take it to a cobbler to see if they can hammer that down but you will feel that um, when you're walking around, right? And so it's quite, uh, there we go, closer. It's it's quite annoying. Uh, it's not like uncomfortable, but you do feel that that roundedness there right, right in the White's logo um, and, and sticking out. And that's on the left side. And here on the right boot, just real quick, like you kind of see there's a little bit of a gap from the insole to the heel. And I thought it was that the heel counter just breaking in, right? Cause it's the leather counter and everything. Um, but what it is, is actually this glue, uh, well, I didn't really use much glue, so the insole just, just comes straight out. And that protrusion uh, on, on the left boot, you can kind of see uh, where that is, right? And so, I mean, it's not as bad on the right side, but like you will kind of feel that kind of sticking out like right, right there where my thumb is. And, and it just kind of, you know, more of like a mild discomfort. You can see, uh, a better shot there um so i said i'm, I'm gonna take it to the cobbler um and, and see if they can kind of pound that down a little bit and obviously kind of glue this uh insole um back down but again if you're talking about thursdays um i don't even think i, I would accept this on on red wings or something right but 200 hundred dollar price point maybe somewhat forgivable uh, again, when you're talking five, six hundred dollars, uh, just just not not cool, not not the quality and craftsmanship that uh, you would expect. Uh, but having said that, I think once you know they they go to the cobbler, I think these will be good to go. But again, like for me, just for the money, it is you know you get what you pay for. Uh, you know things are quality is is worth waiting for. Um, and and again, these are made here in the U.S. Right, Whites is is sold to to a conglomerate now, but. Uh, 
for me, uh, plan ahead, be patient. Uh, the Knicks will serve you well, and I'm loving these. I may get a second pair, um, either in, in Predator Orange or, or Tan Rough Out, you know, just a more casual look, uh, or maybe even Mokto. I'm not 100% sure. I, I look at, you know, Nick's website all the time. It is a, it is a mild addiction of mine, but uh, Team Nick's all the way. Great job. Uh, I love these boots. All right, take care, guys. All right, thanks for uh, sticking around to the end of the video. Uh, just wanted to give you guys a better look of them on boots outside uh, rather than the kitchen table. So uh, don't judge me as a model. Uh, I know you're all here for the boots anyway. So just, uh, just me walking around uh, trying to pose and, and give the boots uh, their best glory shots.